In this video, we're going to show you how we did a complete leak detection, but we open our eyes and what we teach in our leak detection training program is we look for pre-existing stuff. We look for previously repaired stuff. In this job, we have a, a concrete cut um, in the garage. You'll see all the cuttings. Watch the video and check it out. So as we do with any leak detection, we walk up and confirm we have a leak. We watch the meter spinning, even though we have it shut off at the house, and we could isolate it that way as well. Then we start our walk around. Again, we're looking for any stub ups, we're looking for any irrigation, we're looking for any hose bibs, anything that might be on the outside of the property. Walking a house properly will let us know what this house is made of. Then what we do is we treat the garage like as if it's a house itself. We walk the garage and we listen to everything. Thing. Here, what we're actually doing is we're listening and we're hearing that sound right here. And what that is, is it's the sound of water running when touching a stub up. We're not going to stop there though, and we're always going to back ourselves up. So we're walking the rest of the house. We're looking what this house is made of. We're always going to be looking for plumbing. We're going to be looking for wet bars, bathrooms, whatever we have that might have stub ups. Here we're going to listen to the cold and hot water side underneath the sink. We're listening for that actual sound of that water running. Stub ups on the washer dryer. We're going to be listening again on the bathroom sinks. We're gonna to be touching uh, angle stops by toilets. We're gonna to be listening by shower valves. We actually listen to the screw that goes right through the body of the valve. Now we heard that leak on the cold water side. So next thing is we pump it up with air and water. So we're gonna be non-invasive. We're gonna hook it up to the hose bib outside the house on the cold water side. And we're gonna be inject injecting it with air and water. And what we're doing first is we're listening to the previous repair. A lot of times we find leaks where something was previously done. We're starting to pick it up over here. That's where we're hearing our first sign of it, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna keep listening on the whole entire pipe. Again, we know we have something going on on the cold water side going up by the hot water heater. And again, this is the way to confirm what we actually heard. We're starting to pick it up again, but it's not as loud. We're getting back closer and now it's getting louder. Listen and check it out. We mark our location. Notice the previous structural crack. That doesn't tell us much, but this is what it is. So that's how you see how we did a complete walk around. Not only did we stop at the leak, but we went around, we checked everything else out too. And remember, you gotta be comprehensive in these leak detections and rule out absolutely everything. We found the leak, we heard it from that hot water heater. It was coming down, again, the pipe running, the cold water side running up. We heard it, then we put it under pressure with air and water, heard the boil, and that's how we got it done. For more information, visit our website at www.electronics.com and check out all our YouTube videos on our YouTube channel.